in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Very very happy to speak to you the word of God. My dear sisters and brothers, hearty welcome to hear the word of God through the episode of Thunder of God. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. St Paul in his letter to the Romans chapter 10 verse 9 he says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart God has raised him from the dead you will receive salvation praise the lord praise the lord now this is the time to confess with our mouth that Jesus is lord so now we are doing that believing in our heart that God has raised him from the dead now we are going to confess the lordship of Jesus praise the lord praise, praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you, praise you jesus we worship you jesus we adore you jesus you are the king of glory you are the king of glory you are the lord of glory you are the lord of glory hallelujah hallelujah let us raise our hands and praise him hallelujah 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 He praise you Lord Hallelujah 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 He is the Lord and he reigns on high He is the Lord Amen Into the darkness created the light He is the Lord Jesus is the Lord Who is like to him for your presence thank you for your anointing thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus for teaching us the mysteries of heaven praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord i would like to speak about importance of devouring the word of god praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord in the book of jeremiah chapter 15 verse 16 That is a very beautiful 
word of god please listen to that your words were found and i ate them and your words became to me a joy and the delight of my heart you see jeremiah says that when he found the word of god he ate them so finding the word of god is very important so as christians it's our duty to find the word for our lives as parents it is your duty to find the word of god for your children as a priest it's my duty to find the word of god for my parishness as teachers you have the duty to find the word for your children for your students praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah so jeremiah speaks when he found the word of god he devoured them so my dear sisters and brothers i remember an instance a few years back a family came to me for a special prayer their daughter was in a very pitiable condition she was under the influence of the devil satan really was attacking her life she was a very good girl but now she became in a very big trouble and humanly speaking they couldn't do anything so they came to seek help from the priest so i prayed for them then during the night i father binoy and me sat together with blessed the before the blessed sacrament and we began to read the bible from the book of genesis chapter 1 we started to read and ask the lord lord give us a word jesus speak to us then my dear sisters and brothers when we reach chapter 24 a word of god touched my heart in other words i found a word of god or the lord showed me a word of god for this family chapter 24 abraham calling one of his servants to him and said to him i need my son isaac a wife so it's your duty to find a wife for him in those days it was the custom was like that and the servant said to abraham master if i go to that place and if i find a girl and if she doesn't come with me what shall i do then abraham gave him a beautiful answer please listen to that the lord the god of heaven who took me from my father's house and from the land of my birth and who spoke to me and swore to me to your offspring i will give this land he will send his angel before you and you shall take a wife for my son from there you see abraham was very much convinced about the presence of the lord the lord who spoke to him the lord who sought to him and the, he knows the power of angels so abraham said to the servant the lord god will send an angel before you see when i found this word of god i devoured it it i started to read it again and again and again then my faith increased then i prayed o oh lord send your angel before us send your angel to that girl and my dear sisters and brothers it happened a priest who had lots of deliverance gift went to meet that girl he prayed over her and she got a mighty deliverance praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord, lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah 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 so i remember this beautiful thing when i read this word of god again and again i could really feel a deep joy in my heart then i remembered the beautiful prophecy of jeremiah when i found your word o lord i yet them it became delight in my heart joy in my soul 
praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah so sis, dear sister and dear brother if you have a problem just try to find a word from the bible the lord will speak to you the vatican council the church of fathers say like this when you read it the father in heaven comes very lovingly to you and speak to you the lord our god wants to speak to us so we have to find the word praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah so when we find the word we have to eat it we have to read it again and again praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord in the book of ezekiel chapter 3 verses 1 to 3 when the lord appeared to uh, when the lord appeared to prophet ezekiel he showed him a scroll that was the word of god so please listen to the word of god he said to me o mortal eat what is offered to you eat the scroll and go speak to the house of israel so i opened my mouth and he gave me the scroll to eat he said to me mortal eat the scroll that i give you and fill your stomach with it then i ate it and in my mouth it was as sweet as honey praise the lord praise so the lord. when the bible speaks about the word of god the bible says sometimes the word of god is like honey sometimes the bible says the word of god is like meat for example in his first letter to corinthians chapter 3 verses 1 and 2 St Paul speaks about the word of God as meat. Then again Jesus uses the word, the term bread. Gospel of Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 Jesus says that the word of God is like bread. Again the Bible says the word of God is like milk. For example the his first letter to Peter of sorry first letter of Peter chapter 2 verse 2 St Peter says that the word of god is like milk praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah ezekiel experienced or enjoyed the word of god as honey sweet as honey the lord asked him to eat it so he has the freedom either to receive it or to deny it so ezekiel took a decision to eat it and that means he internalized the word of god then he began to preach the word of god then what happened the people got the conversion praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord in the book of revelation chapter 10 verse 10 there john the evangelist had a vision and the lord asked him to eat the word of god please listen to the word of god now so i took the little scroll from the hand of the angel and ate it it was sweet as honey in my mouth but when i had eaten it my stomach was made bitter that means the word of god has two duties one it gives us lots of hope gives us lots of comfort it really encourages us strengthens us and another thing sometimes it it may be like bitterness yeah st john really knew that lots of persecution would come maybe hundreds and thousands of people may die for jesus that is that is not not very happy thing maybe very bitter so the word of god gives us both this joy and this bitterness both this sweet and the bitterness Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank, Thank you Jesus. Jesus. I remember an instance while I was a parish priest back in Coimbatore in India. I was visiting one of my parishioners house. And there was a lady she had a problem with her husband and her mom also was with her. When I went to that house she told me her contact with the bible 
really helped her marriage life so were they were in the verge of divorce and she was really scared very much disappointed then she thought to just to take the bible and read it she did not know from where to start so she started from the gospel of matthew chapter 1 she read chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 chapter 4 chapter 6 chapter when she came to chapter 8 a word of god touched her heart chapter 8 verse 8 the second part the word of god is like this lord speak a word and your servant will be healed when she read this word of god really this word of god touched her heart then she read it again and again in other words she devoured the word of god then she felt the comfort of the lord she felt the presence of the lord then she got a conviction that jesus christ can heal her husband jesus christ can heal their family life then she believed it and it happened praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank, thank you jesus. jesus another instance i remember a family came to me for prayer and the wife said to me father i have got a special problem in shivering i have i think i have some uh, some fear or some psychological problem i don't know what it is you know when i was working as a parish priest back in india people used to come for prayers for deliverance prayers or for healing prayers then i prayed over her then i suddenly i remembered the word this word from jeremiah 1516 to find a word of god and eat the word of god it will really will it will really help uh, the lady then i gave the family two or three word of god then they wrote it down for example i asked them to read psalm 56 verse 3 and 4 when i am afraid i will depend upon you o lord and i asked and gave them another word of god that's from second timothy chapter 1 verse 7 you have received not a spirit of cowardice but you have received a spirit of power a spirit of strength a spirit of love spirit of self control and i gave a few more word of god to this family and i asked them to eat the word every day and my dear sisters and brothers this family they believed in the power of the word of god they began to read this word of god again and again morning noon time evening at night time so three or four times every day for three days they read this word of god continually and what happened miraculously she got a healing praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah all the all her fears all her anxiety depression everything went away from her and she became completely okay hallelujah hallelujah so the word of god is very powerful and the lord jesus wants us to not only to just read the word of god we have to eat the word of god hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank, thank you jesus. jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus and oh, no, let us close our eyes abba father in jesus name we pray for your spirit we need your spirit we need the strength so that we can find the word of god we can eat the word of god Jesus give us that grace come holy spirit hallelujah lord we praise you jesus this is my glory for you jesus daily bread thank you lord my daily bread thank you jesus this is my daily bread jesus. your very word spoken to me and i i'm desperate for you yes lord yes lord, yes, lord jesus and i i'm lost without you hallelujah jesus oh, 
Most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine, O sacrament most holy. Thanksgiving be every moment thine, O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and all thanksgiving. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus now we are in the presence of the blessed sacrament he is here he is touching us psalm 62 verse 2 the bible says he alone is my rock my salvation my fortress and i will never be shaken now let us raise our hearts and hands towards him and give him glory and honor hallelujah 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 thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you jesus this is the power of christ in me jesus from life's first cry to final breath jesus commands my destiny No power of hell no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he return and calls me home here in the power of Christ I stand Thank you Jesus Thank you Lord praise you Jesus Thank you Lord Thank you Lord praise you Jesus Thank you Jesus You are the fortress you are our refuge praise you Lord Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Hallelujah Hallelujah Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus First John chapter 4 verse 4 The one who is inside me is greater than the one who is outside the world Now we receive his blessing Once again let us surrender our entire life to him and let us be aware of his presence Lord Jesus fill us with your presence Now let us receive his blessing Thank you Jesus praise you Jesus Hallelujah Lord Hallelujah Hallelujah thank you Lord Most holy O sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving 